Hey guys, um, I know I haven't been vlogging recently and that is because I have been trying to graduate from homeschooling and it is hectic. But I'm back and I'm doing a vlog today about what it's like to live with an arachnoid cyst. I know it is not extremely common, but I do know that there are kids with them. Now, I found out about my cyst two or three years ago. Um, I believe it was the day after Christmas. That night, I went into a seizure out of a complete dead sleep. Uh, I was asleep in bed and all of a sudden I jumped up and I felt really weird. I felt dizzy. I felt scared. So I ran into the bathroom thinking that splashing cold water on my face would snap me out of whatever it was. It didn't work. Um, I'm sorry guys. Um, it's a really scary thing to go through. Especially for me. I was completely awake and coherent through it all. Um, I could tell you everything that happened during it, but right after, I'm just, my mind is so jumbled, I'm so tired, I'm so shaky, I'm scared. I just don't remember everything that happened. Um, I remember my first seizure, uh, I was dizzy, my ears were ringing, my vision was blurring, I could barely see in front of me, I could barely hear anything, everything, just, it, it felt like I had muffs on my ears. I couldn't hear barely anything um I remember my mom freaking out I remember my dad freaking out everyone was freaking out because nobody knew, knew what was going on apparently I went completely pale I lost color in my lips I was dead weight I remember leaning forward and almost falling off the toilet because I'd sat down thinking that it would help my dizziness and it didn't work but um and when I went to sit down, I sat down, my mom was sitting in front of me, and for some reason I was wrapping my arms around whoever was in front of me and laying my head on their stomach. I don't know why I did it. But apparently I had slid off the toilet and was falling out of the floor, and my mom and dad were trying to pick me up, and they said I was like dead weight. Um, a little while after, I came to completely fine. I think it lasted maybe a minute or two, if that. But in those couple minutes, it was scary. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. Um, when I got to the emergency room, they, um, hold on, let me backtrack a little bit. When the paramedics got here, they asked me some personal questions, you know, was I sexually active? Was there any chance of me being pregnant? Anything like that. And I told them my information and stuff. Um, when we got to the emergency room, they did a CAT scan. Um, they also did blood work. They saw on the left side of my brain, um, there is an arachnoid cyst and it takes up almost the entire left side of my brain. The doctor said I could have been born with it. Um, a little while after the doctor told me about it being possible that I was born with it, my mom said when she was pregnant with me in an ultrasound, they saw a white spot. I don't know if it went away, I don't really remember, but I remember she said that they saw a white spot and they didn't think anything of it. Um, when the doctor came in and told us that they said that they were going to admit me, they were going to transfer me or transport me to Galveston UTMB, um, I spent a couple days in there. They did an MRI, which believe me, I was completely out of it. I was so exhausted. I was tired. I was scared. I had a headache. I didn't feel good. And being shoved into a long tube with a cage this close from your face is not pleasant. But it helped them realize what was going on with me. They gave me a couple options of surgery. Um, they gave me an option to put a stent in. They gave me an option to, um, what was it? I think they said drain it. And I would have to keep going back and draining it every now and again. And then they gave me an option for seizure medication and just to wash the cyst. I've had a couple, I think I've had like one or two MRIs since then. Um, I've been in the hospital for a seizure twice. Uh, the second time was the exact same thing. I was completely coherent. I was asleep. I woke up, went to the bathroom. And when I went to the bathroom, I was actually using the bathroom. 
and I felt really weird. And all of a sudden, I knew what it was. I knew what was going on. So I started freaking out, but I was a little calm. I told my sister, I was like, please go get mom. Just get mom. Just get mom. And um, I calmed down on the couch. Uh, we waited a little bit. And then we went up to the emergency room. Then they admitted me to um, Clear Lake Regional where they watched me. They upped my dos dosage of seizure medication, which I didn't say before I chose to do the seizure medication. Um, they upped my dosage and they think that one was because I wasn't eating right, I wasn't sleeping right, and I wasn't taking my medication like I was supposed to. Any of you that have seizures or go through what I'm going through, sleep right. Make sure you get enough sleep. Make sure you eat right. Don't gorge yourself. Don't go without eating. Eat the right amount that you need. Take your medication every morning, every night, or however they have it set up because believe me, I know what it's like and it is scary. My first stepdad, he was epileptic and he, um, he had seizures all the time, but he would go completely unconscious. I didn't. I was completely awake through it and it is scary. The first time it happened, I didn't know what was going on and I was really scared. And believe me, I understand what you're going through. It's not easy. Um, having an arachnoid cyst has stopped me from doing a lot of things. I wanted to be on our dance team in school. I wanted to be in volleyball. I wanted to do so many things. As I said, my mom took me out of school because she felt that it was not safe and she was right it wasn't safe and the school that I was going to for those of you that know me and know where I live and oh my gosh sorry I just realized how creepy this monkey is um know me and know where I went uh, this school's crazy uh in the hallways they do not care who you are if they're running late for class they're gonna shove you to the side you're gonna hit a locker you're gonna hit a person next to you you're gonna piss the person off you're gonna get into a fight whatever the situation may be, it's not safe. So she took me out, she put me in homeschooling. Um, since the seizures, I have suffered from depression, anxiety, panic, um, nausea. The nausea eases off more. The nausea was mainly because of the seizure medication. Um, for those of you with my condition, I really hope you get through it and you can uh, anyone that knows me knows it's very hard for me to get through stuff because I just feel like I can't but I have a very supportive family I have a loving boyfriend I have amazing friends and they support me they know it's hard for me sometimes and they care they take care of me they know exactly what I need they know what's safe for me and what's not. Um, I know with my seizures, I'm just happy that my mom was there. My dad was there, my sister was there. I remember just asking for my sister. Ever since the seizures, my mom has been the only person I can't I can't go anywhere without her. I want my mom there because